How's it going everybody? This is Mike with Choco Flaco and today I'm here with Diana Brandt of azfoodieblog.com. Yes. And uh, she was kind enough to come down here and meet with me and we wanted to interview her today here at DeSoto Central Market in Phoenix. Now Diana runs a food blog here in Phoenix which has a lot of followers, a lot of people are interested in what she has to say. She is very knowledgeable about the Phoenix and greater Phoenix area of uh, the food scene here. And she has also done some creative things with Choco Flaco drink mixers that we'll get to here in a second. But Diana, thanks for coming down and meeting me. Thanks for having me. So what I wanted to do is I want to ask you a couple questions about AZ Foodie. Okay. Um, first off, what is AZ Foodie and how did it get started? So AZ Foodie kind of started because I well, I've always had a passion for food, but I was taking pictures of my food and my friends got really annoyed mm -hmm. with seeing it in the personal feed. So I decided to create AZ Foodie on Instagram and from there it kind of grew and one of my friends in PR mentioned that there's not, at that time, which was about a year and a half mm -hmm. ago, there wasn't a lot of people on the food scene doing food blogging. So right, she right. suggested, hey, do a food blog. So at that point, I created azfoodieblog.com as well as the Facebook page and all the other social media. And from there, just as a passion for food and a hobby, it grew into this huge you know, space where people can see what's going on in the food scene in Phoenix. And how long have you been running AZ Foodie? Since last March. Last March, okay. So not well, very long. You, you've definitely... Uh, <laughs> uh, grown pretty quickly if it's only been since last March, yes. so that's pretty impressive. Yes. So how many contributors do you have to AZ Foodie? It's yourself, obviously, and then you have a couple people that you work with? Yes, so right before I gave birth in May, I brought on two people just to kind of help out, and then once busy season hit here, I brought on another five people. Okay. So not everybody does everything. Some people are just specific to like recipes, um, one person does like a healthy eating thing and then there's other people that go out to events I can't go to and then they'll do the blogs and the pictures. Okay. Uh, another thing I was going to ask you is your, the pictures you guys take is amazing. <laughs> I yeah. always, every time I check out your blog, I'm like, oh man, I'm hungry. So good job Thanks. on those pictures. Thank you. <laughs> it took a lot of time to figure out how to, you know, it's all perspective and of course the chefs really do a good job of right. making the food pretty so it yeah. makes it easier. Yeah. To make it look delicious. Well, it definitely is one of my favorite parts of your site. So, how do you choose which uh, products or which restaurants you want to feature on the site? What, what's kind of do you have? Do you guys beat about it, or do you kind of just suggest things? Um, it depends. So, in the beginning, when AZ Foodie first started, it was really just wherever I was going out to eat. And now that I get invited to so many events, mm -hmm. it it's kind of a lot to do with that. So. People invite us out to um, different festivals or to try out new menus, to meet the chefs, all that kind of stuff. So that really guides us on where we go, but you'll also see in there, I eat out a lot. So mm -hmm. a lot of that is just, it's wherever I'm eating out. Uh, okay. I also wanted to kind of get your thoughts on the local Phoenix food scene. Um, it seems like it's thriving. Um, I'm very happy and proud of where the Phoenix food scene has come. As far as, I moved from Seattle uh, almost 11 years ago mm -hmm. down here and coming from Seattle to Phoenix back then, I don't know if you're around, but it was all just chains and um, gosh, just in the last couple years, I mean, there's been such a huge growth in the food yeah. scene and just chefs, you know, from creating DeSoto Central Market to places like Crate Bar, um, the food trucks, being able to create, you know, these brick and mortar places. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just been, it's great. It's so great. Yeah, I, I, you mentioned the food trucks. It really yes. seems like the food truck scene and, and the growth has, has really taken off recently. Um, and it's very impressive. You know, for me, it's been fun to meet all the chefs and really watch them kind of behind the scenes and, and see their passion and their dreams kind of, you know, expand into places like this. So how did you find out about Choco Flaco drinks? Um, I was working with uh, someone at Whole Foods Market in Paradise Valley. 
So we wanted to kind of do some local, obviously some more local, but focusing more on products versus just restaurants. Mm -hmm. So she loves you guys, and so she suggested, you know, using you, your products mm -hmm. and kind of getting to know them. So that's how that came about. Diana put up a great uh, recipe. Uh, I think it was a chicken sandwich recipe. Or, or yeah, you it was did some, pulled pork. That pulled pork, pulled pork. It was good. good and uh, <laughs> we like seeing that stuff. I mean, we like seeing with our customers and, and, our, and our fans and the people that who are out there using our product, we like seeing what you do with it because yeah. it inspires us. You know, it's kind of like a back and forth for sure. Um, what would be like one of your favorite recipes that you've tried to make with Choco Flaco drink That was probably my favorite. Pork. And it was super easy too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you just throw it in there and um, put the meat in there and let it kind of stew and you got yourself a pulled pork sandwich or yeah. pulled chicken. I think I did chicken. Chicken, chicken, yeah. Chicken yeah. Sandwich. Um, so uh, uh, in closing, what's your idea, what's your hopes for azfoodieblog.com in the next year or so? Um, I would like to see it continue to grow and just be a community. I mean, I love the community feel and I think that's why people love AZ Foodie is um, they get to really see, you know, what's going on in the food scene, but they can also comment and a lot of people tag me and say, hey, come check this place out, just, yeah. you know, the regular followers and then I'm like, oh, I didn't know about that place. Yeah. So it's a back and forth. I'm not just like AZ foodie, but I'm a person behind. So I think they feel more connected with that. Right, right, so I kind of right. want to keep that community feel. Um, I'm trying to do pop-up demos to give the like people more of a chance to connect the way I have been able to with the chefs. Um, and that's really what I wanted when I started AZ foodie was for it was foodies unite. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that's what I kind of want to continue to go through is different ways to help build the food scene but also for us to kind of become one as a community yeah. as well in the food, food arena. That well that's sense. great. Well I know that we at Chaco Flaco are looking forward to uh, following you and seeing the journey that AZ Foodie Blog takes you on. And again, make sure you check out the website. It's azfoodieblog.com. Diana is the CEO of the blog and she posts all the time so her website is never stale you're always getting new information from her yes and uh, she's on instagram yes um, follow me on instagram what is it az foodie az foodie yeah. and uh get in the know because she's all over the place so diana thank you very thanks. much for meeting us today yes and uh, we look forward to seeing more of you absolutely thanks thanks <laughs>